Hello everybody, Lance here. Uh, today I want to talk about just like a way to think about coaching in general. So our example is you're having someone do push-ups, but the context is maybe earlier on they've been, I don't know, they've been running, they've been walking a lot, they've been jumping some rope, and they're like, my calves are just so tight. They just, they, they won't loosen up. My ankle is really stiff. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I try to avoid just saying, okay, here, do this. Um, because it's easy to play whack-a-mole. Um, uh, you, you fix that. And then every time something else comes up, they come back to you and they ask you to fix that. And it has this, um, there's like this context of I'm, I'm not happy with how my body feels. So I need to change something about it. And I don't want to encourage that, right? That That's maybe more of a pain science talk kind of thing. But um, instead, I'm going to play a longer game and I'm going to wait for the workout. So if I if they say that to me, my calves are tight, uh, I'm going to and I know that we're doing push ups later, I'm going to cue them differently. Right. So usually I'm not talking about the ankles at all during the uh, push up, but I can if I need to. So. I'm emphasizing get your abs, feel your outer lower abdominal obliques throughout this exercise because then I know that you're keeping your rib cage secured, you're ensuring that when you reach up at the top, you're not reaching by sticking your chest out, you're reaching by uh, swinging your arms around your rib cage, which then ensures that your push-up is more restful and you're not tightening up your neck or your back or whatever, you know, in this case, your calves. So the cue that I'll give is I want you to let your heels sag towards the ground. So we increase dorsiflexion. <sighs> I'm contemplating throwing my foot up in the air. Let's do it. Let's see if I can make it. I'll give you a little balance. Okay, so we're here, you're doing your push up, and maybe it looks like this and your toe is extended. And then I just say, hey, I want you to let your heels sag towards the ground. And then that does something like this. And maybe I even let them go a little bit further like this. And then they feel a little stretch in those calves. So <laughs> when I'm doing that, I'm cueing one, I'm cueing the calf to release, but two, I'm allowing the abs to turn on even more and so i'm gonna then follow up with hey do you feel your abs anymore and they'll hopefully say yeah yeah i do do you feel your calves kind of shutting down a little bit and they're like or you know i probably won't say that during the exercise but i'll say it afterwards like take a walk around how's your calf feeling and hopefully it's better it might not be and that's okay but hopefully it's better um and that's just, you know, that's just kind of an example of my philosophy on training. Um, I can use something I can, you know, you tell me, hey, this hurts. I'm probably not going to change a whole lot unless it's like it's just really stubborn. Maybe you do a split squat and it looks pretty good and you're like, yeah, my knee hurts. I'm like, all right, I'll give up on the split squat. Then we can do something else. Uh, but for the most part, I'm not changing exercises. I'm just changing the way that they're done.